All right, today I'm gonna walk you through how we get set up. So we already unhitched from the truck and we're already level. So we're gonna start after we get level. First thing we do is throw in our X chocks. So let's go ahead and put those on. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, hook up our power. So we use a uh, Progressive Industries uh, surge protector and uh, works with uh, 50 amp. So first thing obviously you're gonna do is make sure the breakers are off. Always make sure the breakers are off. Plug it in, flip the breaker on. We're looking for a green light and a blue light with this particular model works so we're gonna flip the breaker back off and we're gonna hook it up to the actual rig okay and then when we hook it up to the rig we use this little I guess it's a 90 degree connector so that way it takes some of the tension off of where it plugs in at so I'm just gonna throw this in here twist it on and then as you can see here kind of takes some of that tension off of this so it doesn't uh, wear over time then once that's hooked up, we're gonna come back over here, flip the breaker on. I heard the microwave go off, turn on. That, uh, that's how I know that it's working. Daddy going to be well, Dad? So the next thing that we're gonna do then is we're gonna hook up our water. First thing I do before I even turn the water on is get you some Lysol. I don't know about you, but I've seen some disgusting things that people do with these water spigots. Put their stinky slinkies right up to it i don't want any poop particles going into my drinking water so spray it down with lysol okay once we're done with that i just turn the water on just so i can let some water flow through kind of gauge what the pressure is going to be That's some pretty high pressure, so we're definitely gonna need our water pressure regulator for this site. So the next part is we're gonna hook up our water pressure regulator here. Now, I prefer the adjustable ones. I've had the ones that you can just get, you know, at Walmart that they just automatically set it to, I think, like 40 PSI. I don't like that. I like our water to be about 60 PSI because we have a multi-stage water filtration system, which you'll see here next. So. I like the ones where I can adjust it to be exactly where I need it to be. So let's go ahead and get that on. And we'll go ahead and test the water again. Okay. So the first stage in this is hooking up our water softener. Usually on travel days, the salt and everything that's in there is kind of just swishing all around. So we get this hooked up first, and then I'm gonna run water through it for about 30 seconds. Normally the water comes out pretty dirty looking, so I want it to be clear before I hook it up to the next part of the system. Okay, so after we run some water through the water softener, now we're gonna hook up our three filter clear source uh, water filter system. We chose this one, uh, which I'll link a video up above and down below in the description uh, about our review of this. We drink from this, we love this, we highly recommend it. So let's get this part set up. First, I'm gonna connect the inlet to the outlet of the water softener. Okay, now that that's done, we're actually changing out the hose that I had on the outlet. And uh, I'm gonna keep this hose because we're gonna use this as a siphon hose. Okay, so we just have a four foot hose here that we're gonna use. Connect this end to the outlet part of the water uh, filter. 
and this is going to go in through the basement and hook up to our water system. So let's get this part connected. So many wheels. Yeah. So just like I ran water through the water softener, I'm going to run some water through the softener, through the filter, and just let this run for a couple seconds. It's a new hose, so I don't know where it's going. Okay, so now we're just going to run this up through the basement. Two hose, so it kind of wants to bend its own way right now. So we have to train it to bend the way that I want it to. And we're just going to hook this here. And as you can see here, I have these 90 degree elbows on here as well. Elbow? Just to take some tension off of this. Close that. And now we're going to turn it back on. Make sure there's no leaks anywhere. Okay, so now once the water's on, typically I won't actually turn that on into the city water connection until Amanda is inside so she can just make sure there's not water spraying everywhere because it's happened to us. When we went down to the keys, we had water just spraying everywhere from our kitchen faucet. So the water's hooked up, power's hooked up. Normally this is the time where I would be setting up our sewer hose and our stinky slinky and all that fun stuff. So we do not have sewer hookups, so we don't have to do sewer stuff. Uh, but what we do need to do is hook up Starlink. So one of the last things we're gonna do is set up Starlink. Now this is going to vary no matter every location we go to, whether we have to climb up on the roof. Uh, some places like here, I can just put it in the front of the pull through site. So we've had a couple different variations with Starlink and we'll probably do a much more in depth video on it. But for now, we just run the cord from the actual dish up into our basement. space and we'll take the dish out connect it this way and we're gonna walk it up to where it's gonna go in this location Starlink right there. I've already done the uh, looking like a crazy person shining the phone up into the sky. So let's plug in the router part. Let's do that. Well, this was going inside the master slide right here and we would feed it through. Now we were just in a spot for one night and I thought why don't I don't feel like doing all that. Why don't I just try putting it in the basement and see what the connection levels are like throughout the RV and they're perfect. So to save a lot of time and effort, we're just going to hook this thing up into the basement. So we'll get it plugged in, everything set up there. And once that gets fired up, I'm actually just going to set it right here. go through the Starlink app and get that set up. Okay, now the final two things that we're gonna do while setting up are safety security things. So we're gonna put the fifth wheel hitch lock on. Real simple, see it's on, put the key in, turn the key, it's in place. Now I feel totally safe at campgrounds. Just keep honest people honest. So we lock up our surge protector as well. Uh, 
Now that's it for here. Normally we would also take the ladder out of the bed of the truck, lock that up, get the bikes out, lock them up. But we have the truck bed cover that's just going on since we're staying here for a short amount of time. And that's it. So that's how we set everything up on travel days minus the stinky slinky. And that's only because we don't have sewer hookups here. That's it. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up on this video, hit the like, and we'll see you on the next one.